Let's check the markets and bring in our good friend David Barnson. Great to see you, David. Uh, well, let's begin with the, the Delta uh, variant of the virus. Is this a, a real threat to the markets? Well, clearly not. Uh, this, the, the Delta things have gone on for a few weeks now, and the, the market's yeah. had a bunch of up days. It's had a few down days, but it's been in that trading range for a while anyways. And, and I think I've said this to you before, Ash. This is not yeah. a new story. The market shrugging off COVID hysteria. It's been going on for over a year now. And I think it's a very healthy indicator to those of us that want to know what's really going on when markets with all their sophistication and all their optics mm. are able to see through it. Maybe politicians should take a cue. <laughs> Good point. David, whenever we have you on, you always like to talk about the dividend plays, uh, your your picks. Tell me about the first one you, you told us about, MetLife. You like MetLife. Yeah, it's timely to talk to you about MetLife today because they just released earnings last mm. night. The stock's up about 3% here this morning, but uh, yep. I, I didn't know that when I was sending in the notes. Um, MetLife <laughs> is this really, really powerful life insurer that has done a great job at spinning off its non-core businesses. They're focusing on what they mm. do best. They have really optimized their balance sheet. It's a 3.5% dividend yield payer. Um, the stock is up huge from where it was about a year ago, but it still has a lot left in it. And we really like their discipline, what they're doing with their capital. And another pick of yours in the oil patch, you like Chevron. I do. We've liked Chevron for a long time. We rode it way down mm. last year during COVID. We're adding to it during those distress periods. Here you have well over a 5% dividend yield, and they did not cut that dividend during last year when oil prices dropped the way they did. Chevron has paid this dividend and grown their dividend for decades upon decades. And now, last Friday, they even announced they're going to be buying back $3 billion of stock because they are, have really repaired what was wrong with the income statement. They're cash flow positive, And they, frankly, were able to pick up some companies that were distressed last year. Noble drilling is what comes to mind. So I think into the future, they're going to benefit from the weakness that took place last year. Fantastic stuff as always, David. Great information. Thank you for that. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you very much.